because warming up exhausts you before you work out. That's the question. Which is better? Should you or shouldn't you? Well, uh, when it comes to this, for me, there isn't a clear answer. Uh, I have to be realistic. I will tell you guys what works for me and I think what works for most people. And uh, my answer is it depends. It depends on how heavy you are planning to go into your core workout. If it's a light workout, I would say maybe you should warm up before you perform the workout. If it is a super heavy workout, like squatting, uh, deadlifting, or heavy um, shoulder workout, or back, you know, those, those big muscles, if you have to work them out, and you know it requires a lot of energy for you to perform those, it's more in depth and involved, uh, you're doing a lot of, uh, um, I mean, heavy sets, I would say you should you should you shouldn't warm up before you perform those heavy workout because uh, by warming up before those it is going to affect your performance at least it might um it gets affected when i do warm up before i i, I perform a heavy workout whatever workout you're going to perform if it is a deadlift you can you can do a warm-up by uh, applying a lighter weight on those plates for for me three sets lighter and then you can get into your core workout the reason why i say you should uh, you should uh, approach it this way is because the warm-up you are performing is already part of your core workout it's just a lighter weight do you get it if you're going to squat uh, you know instead of coming out there and lifting up the biggest weight just you know add uh 50 plates on that 25 on each side and perform a light squatting form of warm-up but guess what it's part of your workout so it doesn't feel as if you did warm up you know because there is a specific warm-up that uh people perform when they are working before the workout like a warm-up that is like 15 to 20 minutes warm during the whole nine yard before they go into their core workout it's fine if it is a lighter weight, but if it is a heavy weight, the, the best way to go about it, like I said earlier, is, is to do what I told you. Just perform a lighter version of your core workout. You, don't feel, you won't feel exhausted. You won't feel as if you have taken so much energy out of, your, out of you, you know, because it, it is a mental game. Mentally, if you say, oh, I just warm up, and you know your warm up requires energy and calorie burn, you 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 come into your core workout feeling a uh, sluggish or ex exhausted and therefore mentally you won't give your best so it depends warming up does not always equate to a better workout not warming up does not also always equate to a better workout okay people have their stance when they come to this topic it is a topic whereby uh, both sides are correct if you get it some people will come here and uh you know argue with me by saying that you must w warm up or you're going to enjoy yourself i'm saying it doesn't mean i don't warm up it depends on the type of work that i'm performing okay warming up does uh reduce um you know the likelihood of you enjoying yourself same as stretching before you work out it depends on what type of stretch dynamic or static it's up to you here today i'm just focusing on the aspect of warming up okay because warm, warm up takes a lot out of you you just need to know that and the best way to perform it i just told you and that being said you know enjoy yourself at the gym or whatever you're doing okay be mindful